a music conference and um, talking to some of the artists that are out here. Uh, what is your band name? And uh, okay, we have crazy people photobombing us. Hi, Paula. What is your band name and what brings you to the conference? My band name is Jay and the Lions and my name is Janine. And um, I'm here at Millennium Music Conference. This is our fourth year in a row. Okay, cool. um, we are here because we love it. Everybody's really cool. There's really great um, vibes, really great energy, great musicians, great industry people. Mm -hmm. It's really hands-on um, and it's really friendly. Um, we go to a lot of them. Some of them are bigger and they're cool. But this, this is you get to meet some of the bigger people that you wouldn't necessarily get to meet at the bigger places because they're inundated with all these these people and things and, and uh, meetings and whatnot. I'm here for the experience. I love like the conferences and I love the fact that I can learn stuff. They give a great insight into artists that are looking to break into the industry. So um, I really love it because I get to meet other bands. Just get exposure and meet new people. And It's not overinflated, it's not underinflated, it's very right in the niche, right what you, you know, exactly what you need to hear. For one thing, they get to rub elbows with people who are actually doing the things that they want to do in the future. Uh, internship possibilities, jobs. A lot more confidence in the music industry. Learn about uh, everything we can about the industry through industry professionals with the panels. And some of it's kind of tough, it's a little dirty, but you know, <laughs> it's a little it, dirty. Tough, it, it's tough, tough love. love. <laughs> If you make a relationship with somebody, you need to keep it, you need to be in touch with them, you need to foster it, and you need to provide a reason for them to keep in touch with you. Get to know as many people as you can and follow up is the key. To uh, learn everything they can about what everybody's doing at this conference and then do the opposite to try and find their own ways. So how are you still awake I'm today? Not. <laughs> That's a big problem on Saturdays. Get, using all these tech, these different techniques and all different like stuff we can get with connections mm -hmm. to help grow our business. You have to look at the music industry as like a college fee. Like you have to put all your money into something that you'll get somewhere somewhere sometime. So like instead of like a college tuition, you're paying like an EP to like be released. So like it's definitely something that like I look forward to and I learn so much from. The Pennsylvania Musician Magazine has sponsored the Millennium Music Conference for the last 20 years. The whole 20. Wow. Woohoo! That's a lot. John Harris puts together amazing showcases that every every show flows Absolutely. so well yep. that you want to know who the next band is, and this is probably the only one that is like that. The talent across the board, across the board, no matter if you're pop, country, rock, it doesn't matter. Like the music here is just amazing. It is definitely an awesome experience. I recommend like a lot of musicians to come here. Um, will you guys be coming back again next year? I'm hoping to. I always enjoy cool. coming each year, so I'm cool. hoping to. How about you? Yeah, I'm definitely going to come back. Would you come back again? Of course. Of course. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Without a doubt. It's all about the music, you know? We're jamming in a ballroom last night until 4 in the morning. Oh my gosh. You awesome. Know? So it's just, it's fun. Was it for me or him?